widening project in Brazos County is expected to pick up speed in the coming year. We're now getting a new glimpse into how some areas, specifically College Station, could be transformed and take on a new look and feel. News 3's Donnie Tuggle has new renderings of what drivers can expect. Katie, Rusty, I met with City Council yesterday to get their vision for the look and feel of the corridor. That feedback will result in 2,500 trees and wildflowers planted along the highway with an additional 400 trees along a new shared use path. Yesterday, council presented landscaping options for the State Highway 6 widening project. The choices included greenery at various intersections and a number of trees TxDOT plans to plant. Any improvements beyond TxDOT standard procedures would fall under the city's jurisdiction. Ultimately, council directed staff to proceed with plantings at the University Drive Gateway, as well as the option to plant roughly 2,900 trees and all the corridors and the future shared use bike and pedestrian path. The impact of the trees on, on the uh, aesthetics of people driving into through, and it isn't just entranceway, the whole Earl Rudder is an entrance and an exit, and people drive five or six miles along that. They're in College Station, and they're experiencing College Station, even if they're going on to Waco or to Bryant. Now, the cost to install and maintain some of these landscaping features will be the city's responsibility. I'll have much more on that coming up tonight on News 3 at 10. In College Station, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. And ahead